Your third hundred in the uh, in the Bob Willis Trophy. You, you must be absolutely delighted with the way you played today. But... Yeah, yeah. I'd say very, very happy to um, obviously have con contributed to uh, what's hopefully a very competitive total out there. But um, I'll let you know how happy I'm tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely opening partnership, and with, with Ben Green, who also batted very well. Yeah, it's, oh, I said in the first innings, and it didn't didn't give us good luck. But um, no, nah, it's. It, it's so nice to be able to walk out on obviously the hallowed turf of Lords with a very close mate and also a, a bloke that I played a lot of cricket with at Exeter, Devon and, and now Somerset so um, I, I cheekily said to him uh, from Exeter to, um, to Lords so uh, that was a very very special moment for us too. It's been a good good game for Devon what with uh, Lewis Gregory taking six wickets and then a hundred partnership between you two Exonians. Oh, yeah we, we were actually joking about that um, yesterday evening but um, no it's been it's been a, a great game for obviously everyone and um, as we see how close the game is tomorrow um, it's set up quite nicely so um, obviously back home in Devon they, they might be um, very happy as well so <laughs> um, but no everyone's just buzzing. You made batting look uh, remarkably easy but but how how difficult is it to score runs on that pitch? Yeah, it's definitely definitely tough. I think we saw the likes of Harmer and the quality that they have with Porter, um, Cook and the other seamers they have there. Um, they made it very difficult for us, um, which is, is positive coming into the last day where we need to need to get a result and bowl them out. Um, very, very good for us. What's the, um, what's, the, what's the plan for tomorrow? Uh, bat on for another three quarters of an hour and then give yourself two and a half sessions to bowl Essex out? Oh, look, I, don't, I don't think there's a, a, cer a certain plan written out, but I think uh, we'll look to probably add a few more runs and then have a go at them on, on what will be a tricky wicket, especially on the last day, day five, um, with a little bit of uh, inconsistent bounce and obviously turn there as well. So, And which is the, which is the, uh, the, the bigger threat, the, the seam or the spin? I think both, which is, which is very, very useful for us, um, obviously with the, the class of seam, tack, seam attack we have and um, a world class sp spinner in Leachy as well, so um, definitely, definitely both will be wicket taking options for us. It was your third century in uh, how many matches? Six, six matches. Um, you've really cemented your role now as, as an opening batsman, is that how you see your future? Look, I, I don't want to look too far ahead, ahead of myself. Um, obviously, I take take each and every innings as it comes. Um, obviously, a little bit of fortune in the in there as well. But it's just nice to be able to get the opportunity and, um, as I say, play for play for Somerset. And I feel really at home in the change room at the moment. So it's just good fun. A big day tomorrow. Everyone up for it? Yeah, exactly. I think obviously the last day of, of the season for us so I'm sure everyone will be giving 100% and uh, when you've got a, a captain like Tom Abel who really gets the best out of everyone as he as he always does leads by example so I'm sure everyone will be raring to go and giving everything tomorrow.